welcome. Today we are going to do a makeup look with a, my new palette that I got as a present from my sister. I think I tagged her on a picture from uh, OPV Beauty. They showed the swatches from this gorgeous two palette and I fell in love in the shades and I think I tagged my sister so she bought that for me as a present. This is how the packaging looks like. I did play with it and I swatched it because I'm, I was so excited I couldn't wait. This is how the actual, the actual pad looks like. The packaging is similar to the Morphe palettes. Now I don't own any Morphe palettes but my sister does so I already so I know how they look and how they feel because I played with them at her place. But this is the palette and it's gorgeous too. All shades are pigmented metallic and shimmer, so there are no matte eyeshadows in here. As you can see, I did play with it a little bit. Let's... Plastic one. So, uh, this is the shades. Some of the shades do look similar to each other. I think I swatched these two and they almost almost were identical i think it's for me and these two were very similar and i think the these two also looked very almost the same i think the undertone is a little bit different but nothing that i could really see i want to do all the swatches there are a lot of eyeshadows here but these two are very pigmented. Now the red one isn't as red as it shows in here but of course you can build it up. But it's a very beautiful shade. I really like this orange. And these shimmers are very nice. Some of the shades have that like a wet feeling to them. They are very soft and nice. I did apply this one <laughs> on my eyelids yesterday and it was beautiful. Let's watch one or two more. Uh, this one is also very beautiful. And let's watch one more of this. Let's watch it here. So, of course, I can't use all of them, only the eyeshadows on my eyelids, because I do like to have the matte shadows first. So I'm going to play with this from Revolution 2. This one, I Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade palette. And I already primed my eyes with using this Smashbox 24 hour photo finish eyeshadow primer. And I went over with this base long wear eyeshadow base from um, Lancome. So let's zoom in. Let's start using this eyeshadow all over my crease and eyelid just to set that primer. Now I'm going to take the smaller blending brush and use this shade here, no, this one. Now I'm happy how this base looks and we are going to get and dive into this gorgeous, this beautiful palette. 
And I think I'm going to use uh, this small blending brush and go into this red one here. I'm going to keep on building up the color that I want. And I think I'm going to take a little bit of this dark purple one. Can you see? Uh, this one here with the same brush. And go back into the red one again. I'm going to use this brush and go into the orange here. This one looks beautiful. And this is without using Fix Plus. So I want intense in this eyeshadow, so I'm going to use Fix Plus. And take that orange shade again and just. Ooh, look. Now I'm going to clean this brush and go in with some Fix Plus and that red eyeshadow again. Blend. So I'm going back to this palette again and I'm going to with this blending brush uh, this color a little bit into my crease again. I'm going to take this smaller brush and go into the black just a little bit in the corner. Just a little bit. This uh, eyeshadow under my eyebrows. And I'm of course going to fill in my eyebrows. I didn't do that before, I forgot. And let's get back into this beautiful palette. And I think I'm going to use uh, this eyeshadow up here and this is very shimmery eyeshadow I'm going to fill in my brows put some eyelashes on my mascara and I'll be right back so my mascara on my upper lashes is on and my eyelashes now I don't have anything on my um, lower lashes because we need to play a little bit more with this palette. Let's take another clean brush, this eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take this darker. Then we're going to take this smaller brush and go into this color here. Then I'm going to take this brush and go into this red one again. Then I'm going to take this waterproof pencil into my waterline and this one is in uh, deep grey going to apply mascara on the low lashes So 
so this is the final look I hope you like it don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't to my channel and I think it turned out beautifully I really really like this palette I think the shadows are great now there are some fallouts but uh, nothing that bothers me um, now I'm going to play a little bit with some highlighters that's why I don't wear any highlighters because I want I have some new highlighter palettes that I'm going to do first impression of so if you haven't subscribed please please do that so you don't miss that video but that was everything I had for you today I hope you like this look and thank you for watching see you soon bye